Welcome back into the Crimson Corner. We continue our countdown to the season. This week, Mike Grant and Robert Jackson take a look at who they think is the Utes' next star. Their answer, Brian Blacken. Brian Blacken began his career at Utah in amazing fashion. It rolls out and fires. That one is intercepted on the fry. It's Brian Blacken, the true freshman. And now Utah can go for the throat. In his first three seasons as a Ute, he had 203 tackles. Left side, running back. Ooh. Room and he's driven down. <laughs> Brian Blecken with a big wow. stop. Three and a half sacks. Sack again. Second sack of the series. Third of the game for Utah. Brian Blecken storming through the gaps. And eight total interceptions. <laughs> After a slow start in 2012 and only nine games played because of a suspension, Blecken finished strong with a game-clinching interception against Colorado. Right now it comes down to a fourth and long, picked off. Brian Blecken the safety. The permanent move for Blecken to linebacker adds speed to the defense in Blecken's new position and his old spot. Blecken spent most of spring ball on the sideline for precautionary reasons as he rehabs tendonitis in his knee. If the knee gets healthy, Utah fans could see more of this. Pressure off the edge again, throws the screen to the outside, and Blecken blows it up. I mean, he blows it up. Mike Rojak, thanks. Some bad news this week for the program. Junior wide receiver Quentin Pedroza has been dismissed from the team for a violation of team rules. Pedroza was listed as a starter after a solid spring camp. The Utes will need Anthony Denham, Brian Allen, or incoming JC transfer Andre Lewis to step up in his place. Well, Paul Soleil has come a long way since his time as a Ute. He's now preparing for his seventh NFL season, all with the Miami Dolphins. He's considered one of the best run-stopping nose tackles in the league and was named to the Pro Bowl in 2011. I caught up with Paul this week at his charity golf tournament. We don't get a chance to talk to you often. When you do, it's, it's fun to catch up. How often do you get a chance to come back to Utah, and how much do you enjoy it when you do? Um, I always enjoy it when I come back. You know, I get to visit families, you know, and go back to my school, see some old coaches. But just come back here, this is where all our family's at. And, um, so, you know, I never liked the Utah when I first came, but, you know, just come here. And, it changed my whole life, the person I am, right? I'm just blessed and I love coming back to Utah. That short two years in Utah, you mentioned how much would change your life. Just how much did it have an impact on you, not just on the field, but on? Um, a lot, like, you know, coming from Sam Ward and really know nothing about the U.S. and then just learning and coming here, going through two different coaches, you know, but they taught me, you know, Gary Anderson, that's some, some guy, person that I'll never forget that gave me an opportunity, another chance to, you know, show the talent and ability I got. And then I, I give them everything. That's why I'm here and I'm blessed and where I'm at right now. It's a fourth round draft pick. There are no guarantees in the NFL. That's why they call it not for long. <laughs> but uh, you've made the most of it and you've had success. You made a Pro Bowl. Is it just crazy to look back and think of how, how, how much your dreams have come true in the last three or four years? Um, yeah, um, making a Pro Bowl is just being on the team and, you know, actually starting something I always dreamed of. And, uh, just to be there, you know, and then represent my, the last name I have on my back, that's what I play for, and represent the people and where I'm from and the Polynesian community to see, you know, what I could do and what round and what happened. You know, I didn't just come from a first round. I, you know, I kept working, kept grinding. That's where I'm at right now, and then, like I said, I'm just truly blessed. You mentioned the Polynesian community. What does it mean to you, and how important is it, is it to you to be a great example and to help and influence other people in the I mean, just the fact where I came from and the road I took to, uh, to get to college, and then, you know, I didn't come from a rich family, you know. It's just a struggle I went through, and then I just kept pushing myself, and I try to set an example to other Polynesian kids, you know, if I could do it, they could do it, or probably do it, even do it better than me, you know, but I had a, a struggle, a tough way to get where I'm at right now, and, and I cherish every moment. Miami's a great place to live. How much have you enjoyed being in Miami and being a Miami Dolphin? I mean, it's great. You know, um, just being in Miami is a, it's like back home, but just the upgrade with cities and stuff and the ocean. 
and the people are really lovely. They're good fans, you know. You know, we always try to. I try to do my best every year just to show the, the fans and you know what I'm there for, just playing and an ability. You're now doing a lot of great things for some people, and this this golf tournament's one of those things. Tell everyone about the the foundation you started and what kind of work are you guys doing? Um, it, it's made by uh, uh, Polynesian childhood obesity. You know, that's some a lot of Polynesian people struggling. You know, with like diabetes and stuff because of the, the stuff how we, the stuff we eat and just. I mean, I see it a lot in my family, and that's what pushed me to start this foundation, you know, BC, and, and not only just OBC, but help out the others, the community, or my Polynesian people. And, you know, and I'm also, like, for kids and stuff, you know, just something I never had the chance when I was a kid, but just to get back. So, you know, my foundation right now is just basically uh, OBC and many other things for kids. How much fun is it to uh, host this golf tournament and get out there and swing the clubs? I mean, it's good, you know, I mean, I'm not a big time golf guy, but you know, I'm going to try my best and I mean, it's great to see all these people showing up and uh, support, you know, I'm just thankful and uh, like you said, it's a beautiful day. End around, gets a block from Wilson and what a block it was.